can I? I can. He has audio. Uh, maybe. Be nice if I could hear the pieces move. Uh, sorry about that. That's more like it. Oh, wow. Um, all right, what's my speaker set to? Is my speaker too loud, I wonder? Yeah, okay, I need to bump that down. There we go. Earlier, I was listening to somebody whose stream was much too quiet. All right. Uh, wait, how do I play this one? Is this fine? Uh, take one of those and take one of those. Yes, I've escaped the opening in one piece. And everything's perfect. Oh, right. I forgot. Well, whatever. Um, I don't think the pawn is hanging. I'm not entirely sure. Screw it. I can't believe my opponent wanted to play this opening. That's strange. Chess would be so much easier or more interesting as a co-op expedition. And as something... Right now you have to calculate the thing, and your opponent calculates the thing, and one of you messes up and it's all over. Um be more interesting as a collaborative sort of adventure. When is there going to be a collaborative mode for chess? I don't know. But imagine how much more you could get done as a team. Do I have any tricks here? I don't think I have any tricks here. No, there's just the one. And that doesn't work. Never mind. Fine, whatever. Um... Not sure what my opponent thinks is going to happen here. Um, let's put the king on the dark square. Oh, that's strange. End games are hard. This end game is hard. Um, I 
I mean, we've given our opponent every theoretical advantage here, and they still aren't going to win it. Just play knight d7 and knight f6 all day. If they get careless, we hit this pawn. I've got the outside pass spawn. Our opponent has two minutes left in what appears to be a lost position. I no longer have the outside pass spawn. That's not good. Oh wait, just kidding. I actually have it. LOL. <laughs> ah, this is good. This is so good. <laughs> oh, that tactic. That is one monster tactic. Wow. Okay. Let's take a second to just digest what happened there. Oh man. So many tactics. Knights are such beautiful pieces. Oh, uh, you don't want to deal with knights and blitz chess. They'll mess you up. Sure. Yeah, that's a really nice bishop you have there. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it. Alright, screw it. Fine. Take the pawn. You've earned it. You'll get your draw. Man, you had a minute and 20 seconds to play any move other than King D4. And you played King D4. And now you're just lost. Congratulations. <sighs> Why? Do you not know that we're playing with an increment? Like, Why would you do that to yourself? Dude, no. No, thank you. Get good. Spend your time, damn it. Don't try to flag me. Alright. Well. How's this end game? I mean, it was a fun game, but... Trying to win on time? Really? Do they not know that I play end games? I guess they don't know that I play endgames. That's really annoying. I mean, kudos to them for trying, but there's better ways to try. You could just play good moves. 
Oh, there's the... Oh my god. And the point is if they defend this, then we just win the bishop. No, that's not the point. It feels like that's the point. What's the actual point here? That I get to take this pawn for free? And that this does not hang? Maybe that's it. Um, okay. The engine recommends equally knight to e1, or knight takes a3. Interesting. Why knight e1? Just out of curiosity, because it seems like a terrible move at face value. Oh, the king makes it to g3, and white's got serious problems preventing this from promoting, and then the knight goes back and takes the a-pawn. Okay, that's clever. Much too clever for my taste, but yeah. Uh, yeah, can you two? Let me go back. Uh, why aren't they taking? Oh, because now it's a fork. Oh my goodness, stockfish is too clever. All right. I mean, it was an entertaining game. It's an interesting game. I'm just disappointed in my opponent. All right, I did miscalculate this. Uh, I was, in fact, hanging the pawn. I thought I had some justification with this clever in-between move. But they have an in-between, in-between move. And, yeah, I, I don't have anything clever here. So, I don't really have compensation. I'm just disappointed in them. Let's do puzzles. We can't be disappointed in puzzles, can we? He asks non-facetiously. <sighs> uh, puzzles are decent. Puzzles are definitely decent. Um, what am I supposed to do here? I mean, I want to just promote the pawn. How is it not promoting the pawn? How is there something better? I don't know. Like, anything other than the pawn promotion seems extremely risky. Oh, bishop d8 is a tricky move. And the only way they can stop the pawn from promote... Well, they could do queen c6 or knight b6. Um, hmm. But yeah, this bishop on g5 is stopping a check, but that check doesn't mean anything. Queen c6... Is it flawed in some way? Feels like queen d3 busts queen c6. And knight b6 is busted by what? Queen takes f7? No. Knight B so bishop d8, knight b6, I don't know. Hmm, what do we do? What do we do? It looks like bishop d8's not the answer then. Because I'm not seeing a way to refute knight b6. Which in turn means we have to promote the pawn right now because nothing else works. Um, but we only win a knight. That doesn't seem worth it. And our king hangs at the end too. All right, so back to bishop d8, knight b6. Um, hmm. I mean, an alternative would just be rook takes knight. But queen takes f1 looks painful. 
Um, that can't be it. I just don't know. Do we take on F7 with the Rook? It feels predictable, but... Um, rook takes F7, Rook takes F7, Rook takes D7. Um, simultaneously threatens to take on F7 again. And to take... Yeah, this might be it. This thing. This... This hitting that takes 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 as the saying goes, but it looks like that's got to be it. This is more forceful. This gives up an entire rook for no compensation, but um, there is some chance of a checkmate. I think the problem though is that Black plays Queen G one. And then sacrifices the queen for the rook. But then there's... Uh, oh, then they could, I could play rook e8. Oh, this is cute. Oh my god. Wow. Takes, takes, takes. Queen checks. And then sacrifices itself for this rook that blocks the check. And then black eventually plays rook e8. White plays bishop d8. And there's nothing to stop this promotion. So, material is even at the end, and it's a quiet move, bishop d8, that seals black's fate here. I hope that's it. I'm curious. Okay, what the hell. You're saying this works. You're saying this works. The obvious thing. Okay, what was wrong with my solution? <laughs> Just out of curiosity, how do I get busted here? Is it like Rook C2? Rook E1. Oh, right, Black could check at the Rook. Mm. Man, I like my variation better. So say Black doesn't see any of that and only finds this move. How are we doing here? Yeah, see? White's winning. I had it all along. Uh, yeah, and then Black checks here and then tries to stop the promotion. And White can do this. Oh, okay. Well, Bishop B6, Black wins a Bishop. Fine. Whatever. Wait, actually, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, well, wait. I was going to do queen takes bishop. Apparently, white has much better. Okay, what in the world is going on in this position? Queen d5, bishop takes pawn, bishop takes. And white's just up a bishop with a better position. But what's wrong with my extremely forceful move here? Mate in three. Oh god, really? Really? We have to do this now. Okay. Stockfish is too clever. How come it sees all these things? Man.
for all the times I tell beginners that chess is not 99% tactics, it awfully feels like it sometimes that chess is 99% tactics. All right, let's do easier puzzles. And by that, I mean Storm. Here we go. Let's not jinx ourselves on the first one. Uh, there, there. Ooh, makes the little... Okay, that was a mouse click. Is it spacebar to reset? Yeah, it's spacebar to reset. We're just going to double click to enter moves, because um, dropping pieces mid-gesture is sad. Um... So, ah, uh, the midnight musings. Okay, what? All right. Yeah, I'm trying not to think too much about work at the moment. I'm thinking way too much about work at the moment. It's harshing my mood, man. All right, so what do we do here? There's got to be a good move in this position. What could it be? There's got to be a good move in this position. Oh! Alright. That was tricky. This is just a bishop. No, I still maintain I was right. I'm always right. We're... It's the American exceptionalism. All right. You can never be mistaken, even once. Three night. All right. So this. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I happen to have a very, very, very slight knowledge advantage over most storm players because i know that um i previously provided feedback uh to tebow about you know these puzzles where a player just hangs a piece outright are not interesting <laughs> or it's like just one move and you're uh taking a hanging piece then your opponent puts you in check and then you run out of the check and you just win. I commented that that didn't look interesting and could we filter those out? So now I can exploit that knowledge. That's so sad. Uh, all right. I don't know. We take this. I mean, it's like the most marginal knowledge ever. I don't even know how you would really exploit it, but yeah. I wonder if that filter still in place. <laughs> it's a good filter, but um, yeah, because most opponents are going to be wise enough not to do that sort of thing where they just hang a piece. Occasionally you will find players just hang the piece, but um, in time controls where players actually can think most of the time when a piece hangs that's a mouse slip or something like that maybe maya could somehow point us to like what chess blindness is and explain um 
how it is that people miss such things. Wait. Yeah, I guess we have to take the rook. I'm not too delighted about that final position, but apparently it's winning. All right. Um, mate in one. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah, humans will fall into mate in one all the time, but in terms of just like them hanging a piece, I mean, sure it happens, but I wouldn't call that a tactic. Yeah, at least here we got the dignity of having to pick off the pieces by night forks and skewers and other fun things. Okay. That was silly. Um, yeah. So, in hearts, you and your teammate are bidding to take um, a round. Where did. Uh, how's it go? This is going to break my entire analogy if I can't explain it. But there's this bidding strategy mechanic thing where um, because players are not allowed to talk freely about the contents of their hands, they have to communicate using the symbols that are in the game to explain their strategy to each other. And then you'll have the trick-taking aspect of the game afterward, after the strategy's been figured out. Um, and to that end... Oh wait, am I winning in the queen? That looks like a winning queen. And then I check here, and I just take the queen. Alright, uh, um... So, oh, these are actually getting a little trickier now. Finally, two minutes into the exercise, we get... Uh, I should have checked the other way. Yeah, it's going to get easier. This will give me some time to explain again. Um, so yeah, there's this... Um, okay. Some of these are tricking me. I guess we'll just wait until the next time around. Or just lose this without really trying too hard. Um, Alright, yeah. The move there was pawn b5 trapping the queen. I missed it. Let's try again. New weekly I score. Ooh. Alright. So, yeah, in hearts, um, you and your opponent have to, or teammate. Okay, I don't even care. I'm in check. I guess I should take the hanging piece. Um, I guess that's winning. Man, it's harsh in my mood. Where's the easy mode? Give me back easy mode so I can tell my story while doing dumb tactics. <laughs> um, I don't even care about the high score. It's just cathartic in some way. Honestly, um, what makes this cathartic is not the timer. It really isn't. The timer does absolutely nothing to help here. Other than end the exercise when humans lack uh, the common sense to end it. Um, but yeah, the timer has absolutely no benefit here. Other than like to help people apply common sense, which they should have anyway. Um, I mean, some people find it fun, I guess. It just doesn't serve a purpose. Uh, so anyway, my story, he says, getting a difficult problem. Um, hmm. wait, does this actually work out? 
It doesn't feel like that should work. That's weird. So there's all kinds of conventions about how you communicate your bidding strategy uh, based on uh, you bid uh, how many tricks you think your team is going to take uh, in that particular set. Um, and then as part of the bidding or the bid, you declare which suit you and your teammate can use as Trump. Um, so Trump cards will win a trick, uh, except against other Trump cards. Um, oh, queen, that queen defends that square. So, okay. This is me. Um, and so the bid continuously increases. Okay, I don't even care. I just want my dumb tactics back. <laughs> uh, so for once, I'm trying to tell a story. Um, okay, that's a dumb tactic, but not in the sense... Anyway, we're going to lose on time. Alright, whatever. Hey, what's my best? Let's say 33. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, bridge. Yeah, I keep saying hearts. Yeah, it's confusing. I know people who know people who have done this game bridge. Yeah, it's too early for me to tell a cogent story, but I can sure try. Uh... But anyway, yeah, it looks crazy. Um, so the concept of using um, parameters of a mechanism, uh, or that's not English. The concept of using very things you're negotiating over as a way to communicate is interesting and in that vein um yeah at work i am in the midst of some very strange negotiation um where i have to uh start the conversation somehow and uh follow all company policies as part of that conversation so, um, yeah, like what I did was effectively, oh, I didn't even finish my explanation of the bidding mechanism, but it continuously increases. And if your team fails to take as many tricks as you bid, you just lose the round. Otherwise you score points or something like that. So high bids, um, since the bids are always increasing, bidding really, really high makes it impossible for your opponents to communicate with each other about their strategy, about how the trick-taking aspect that follows the bidding is going to work. Um, so what uh, I ended up doing... Um, and. So there's also an order of precedence in terms of certain trumps are worth more than other trumps. Um, and so the highest bid you could possibly do, well, the bids are like one spade, one club, one diamond, one heart, something like that. Two, uh, two spades, two clubs, etc. Uh, but I'm sorry, there's also one no trump. So the highest bid you could do is seven no trump, meaning your team is going to win all the tricks, and um, you're going to do so without any trump cards because there's not going to be a trump suit. Um, yeah, I don't. I just gave up on that one. <laughs> I'm like, screw that. I'm out. 
Um, that was not a fun problem. I didn't feel like solving it. So yeah. Uh, just given the deafening silence, I did something that was akin to bidding seven no Trump in a negotiation. And I get to wait until next week to find out um, what it even means. But yeah, it's... Try not to think too much about that. It didn't occur to me until after I'd made the suggestion just how crazy the suggestion sounds in the context of, I don't know, a larger problem or ecosystem. So, yeah. Try not to think too much about that. It's good to have fun. So, probably what's going to happen come next week is we're going to dial the conversation back just a little bit. Try to figure out what it all means. Um, huh. All right. Sadly, I don't have a, a. Okay, I was just gonna tease that for a long, oh, a few seconds, saying like, sadly, there's not some way to continue just holding the mate threat and teasing your opponent with it. There's got to be, like, a puzzle mode where the object is just play the move that's going to annoy your opponent the most. Um, Alright, we threatened to pin the queen. Not good enough. Yeah, why am I doing this? It's not like I'm trying. Except when I, like, pause to stop and think. In those cases, I am trying a bit. Um, but, yeah. Nope, that's probably not it. Let's take a queen. And, yeah, I mean, what else can I do right now? It's too early. Yeah, I have no idea. Still have no idea. Oh, duh, this one's obvious. This one... Slightly less obvious. Um... That's cute. Wait, I just took the queen. How's that not winning? Because they're bish- oh my gosh. In the final position there, they play bishop takes bishop, the rook moves, and then they play bishop f7, trapping the rook. Thus, they've obtained a bishop, rook, and... Yeah, bishop and a rook. Um, for a queen and a bishop. And have restored material equality. No, actually, white's up in exchange at the end of that. Despite having given the queen back. Okay, whatever. That was crazy. No, I didn't actually did not say anything out of turn. It's yeah. I guess I'll have more of a story to tell next week. What I said was perfectly in turn, perfectly respectful. And in one sense, and possibly only one sense, logical. Um, and I kind of just expected the answer to be yes. That sounds like a great idea. That was not the answer that I got. Uh, yeah, it's hard to negotiate sometimes. In the past, when I uh, lobby very strongly for an idea, the 
answer I expect is yes. Or maybe. And then we very quickly end up saying yes. Um, or at least the answer is not no. Um, the answer I got, I don't know. It's got me thinking. Yeah, we'll have more of a story to tell next week, one way or the other. It's probably not going to be as interesting as I'm making it out to be. Okay, what in the world is going on? Oh, the queen's hanging. Right. Okay, everything's hanging here. How do we unhang the everything? Um... I guess we take this somehow. I don't know. This is super weird. Inmates. Yeah. Free bishop. Trying to move the queen. Nope. Just kidding. J uh, what? Uh, okay. That was confusing. These are getting better. Um. Okay, this is strange. Okay, there's like 35 different forks here, and none of them work. That's kind of annoying. Oh, I wish I could move the knight. That's not happening. See, this is why I just give up on the puzzles. It's like, either you see it or you don't. Um, I mean, like, oh, there we go. Wait, that was wrong. Woo! How did we fail it? What was the answer to this one that we spent forever on? Um, how is that not a free knight? I have no idea. What? What is this? All right. Let's see. I watched some of that. Oh, right. No, you said that. Okay. Yeah, something like that. We got an answer that was respectful and open to conversation, but also very different than the answer I expected. Yes, basically, you're right. I mean, oh, okay, rook takes knight, attacks the queen. That's how this is not decisive. It's because this is also happening. All right, puzzle rating what? 1496, is that what that says? This is like one of those super easy puzzles that I failed because I'm bad. Huh. Okay. Are there AI that are good at bridge? Now there's a fun question. You know, instead of putting all that effort into solving chess and Go and Shogi, DeepMind could have done bridge. But they probably would have solved the game and made a lot of bridge players unhappy. Um... 
At least with chess, players are already unhappy. <laughs> All right, um, let's go back. 28. Woo! Let's play again. Why are we playing again? I don't know. What was my high score? One time I did get a decently high score. I just can't remember what it was. Should I try to get a high score? Um, I mean, what's the point? Yeah, the other funny thing about said negotiation is it cannot be said that I lack an open mind. Um, yeah, because this proposal I made is just so... Well, it's logical. It's just... Um, completely out of context. So, yeah. I'm trying to think of a better analogy than the bridge thing. There's got to be something, some way to explain this. I mean, perhaps uh, it's a sad metaphor. But, I mean, imagine all these athletes who've been training for years that are preparing for the Olympics, and then, like, the Olympics gets put on hold. Um, uh, it's, that's even a ridiculously bad analogy, but still. It's something of that kind of gravity, where, like, you've been preparing one thing forever, and thinking about things in one very limited way of thinking. And probably aren't ever going to be able to emerge from that mindset ever. Um, um, but, yeah. Like, there's some need to be somehow flexible. Um, so, yeah, I guess, at least, thankfully, in the case of um, those athletes, they're going to be able to do the Olympics this year instead of last year. Uh, at least most of them will. I don't know why that works. But yeah, you could spend your entire life or whatever preparing for something and then have to adapt to circumstances. I have no idea what the answer Oh, free rook. That's a silly problem. But somebody fell for it, and that's why it's here. Alright, um... What? What's that last one? <laughs> what the hell? How is this a winning position? <laughs> is it just king e5? No, we have to play something before king e5, don't we? <laughs> oh my goodness. You can't just throw this at me. What kind of bullshit's that? <laughs> it's gotta be king e5. Cause both the pawn pushes result in six along with king d6. But yeah, having to count this out. <laughs> you, what you're counting out now is one, two, three, four, five. I can't draw arrows. So, and you basically get one of those moves in for free. There should be one arrow for each. Yeah, there we go. And this is free because they'll take here for a move. Um, no, that's not right. 
I'm sorry. If they take here, if you place h5, they'll play g4. So you have to actually take the pawn. Um, but you're counting out this 5 with this intermediate thing versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the king has to get out of the way. 8. So black's down 3 tempi here. But yeah, when you play king e5, you have to figure all of that out. You have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and then this. Assuming that that's, um, that there's nothing faster. Which is risky. But yeah. I could not count that out fast enough. And certainly, even if I spotted it, like, um... Yeah, I didn't know how many moves I'd have to enter anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense that you have to have really good instinct on these. Um, yeah, my first instinct was, hey, it's a Lee chess puzzle. It's got to be G5. Um, my second instinct was, wait... Puzzles are actually somewhat better now than they used to be. It's not g5. It's going to be king e5. So those are the two ideas I had right before the timer ran out. And it didn't even matter. That's funny.